right, good morning anglers. Chris here from Hobie Fishing with an update on what is Wednesday uh, leading into the team's departure here on Sunday. So we are officially a week out now from what will be our mandatory briefing at the Loriton RSL Club next Wednesday evening. Uh, it is effectively going to be the beginning of the Series 15 Hobie Kayak Fishing Australian Championship. So I can certainly tell you um, the team is exhausted before we've gotten started, uh, but we are absolutely pumped nonetheless to be able to get up to Camden Haven and, uh, and hopefully turn this into one of the most amazing Australian championships that we've had yet. Um, I certainly know that the backdrop, the facilities, the park, Brigadoon Holiday Park, just had a quick chat with Erin, uh, one of the owners there at the park this morning, and she is absolutely ecstatic and looking forward to having us up there in a week's time. So. Um, Look, there'll be a few other details that'll come through with regards to accessing the park on the pre-fish day and accessing the park on each of the competitive days. Um, the boat ramp that we are using there is a private boat ramp. It is owned by the park, it's not a public ramp, and there is an access gateway that we will need to get through there. So most importantly, the briefing evening next Wednesday is where all of the final details will be provided to you on session times, and the uh, arena and the like for the pre-fish day. And then obviously the briefing that we have each morning on what will be the Friday, the Saturday and the Sunday will give you the same information again. I know that we go over this each and every time, um, but inevitably, as we always do, there's always going to be a handful of questions that seem to jump up um, as we lead into these things. And there was a couple of questions that came through already. Um, and I'd just like to be able to address those with you now so that you are as up to speed across the board for everybody, rather than just individual replies back to each and every angler. There's a query with regards to GoPros and GoPro mounts and filming. Um, no problem, that's a massive tick. Um, the only request, I guess, that we might have as Hobie Fishing, uh, that if you were able to um, share some of that content with us, we'd really appreciate that. Um, it certainly goes back to giving value to each and every one of the sponsors that we are affiliated with. Um, and I can certainly appreciate from your own individual standpoint that if you do have sponsors of your own that are different to the ho sponsors of Hobie Fishing, that you obviously want to give back to them as well. Um, if you are prepared to share that with us, we'd really appreciate it. Um, and Brad can uh, give us some details with regards to a Dropbox account that we can get that through to. Um, the second query that we did have there was with regards to anglers bringing their own storage bags or replacing the Hobie storage bag that uh, is on the kayak as standard. I would respectfully ask that the kayak or the bow bag that we have on there does not get changed. Um, it is part of the kit, it gives us that level playing field for everybody. If you do have another bag that you're going to put in behind the seat, whether it be another pack for your plastic sleeves or otherwise, go right ahead. But what we are asking is to keep the standard fitment product on the kayak as part of the tournament. Again, it goes back to helping each and every one of these sponsors that we work with, obviously Lowrance, Powerpole and the like, you know, we need to keep those products please on board. Um, Moving, agone, sorry, moving along, I should say. Uh, just going back to those session times, had a chat with one of the anglers this morning with regards to the pre-fish session time. What we want to do in that space is we'll give you the final details on that on the Wednesday evening at that mandatory briefing. Um, most importantly in that space, it was a discussion about being able to manage the fishery. We go through this each and every time and we will go through it again next Wednesday evening. It is about managing it. And you did see as part of our original release to you, it actually said navigation day. Had a lot of questions coming away from that. Can I pre-fish? It's up to you as anglers to manage this fishery. Sitting in one location, smacking 15 fish on a pre-fish, I honestly don't think is gonna help you. And it's certainly not gonna help anyone else. I know you're not there directly to help anyone else, but I just don't know whether it's the right way to manage that fishery. But session times on the pre-fish day, we will advise on the evening of the mandatory briefing. Work with it that it is going to be a sort of 7, 7.30 start, whether we knock off at 1 rather than 2.30 or we knock off at 12 rather than 2.30, that will be advised on the evening of that mandatory briefing. 
Uh, much the same as the session times for each of the competitive days, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, again, we will aim to work with you as we've listed on the info sheet to finish off at 2.30 each day, a half an hour longer session than we would do at, at one of our regular rounds. But the start times, if we can get you on the water earlier, we've got great light. There really should be no reason not to be able to do that. The key tag registration and mandatory briefing by rights should be closer to 6 than it is at 6.30. But again, you'll get all of those details exclusively and definitively at the mandatory briefing. Uh, info sheets are being updated online as we speak, so make sure you jump on and have a look at that as part of this clip. Um, and the final one that we've had overnight was with respect to priming bulbs or primer bulbs for the live wells. Let me make this very clear. You cannot add any fixture to the live well. You cannot screw on a priming bulb. You cannot screw on a standpipe and a spray bar onto that live well. What we will do, and I think it's quite reasonable for everybody, if you do have a hand priming bulb that you want to carry to be able to insert into the intake to provide those couple of pumps when you want to get that going, and then you can remove, so long as it's not threaded on, it's just basically something you'll have in your hand, insert into the intake, pump a couple of times to be able to speed up that process. I've got no problem with that at all. And I think it's fairly reasonable as well. So with that being said, all of this will be gone through again on the mandatory briefing. But right now, I hope you're getting prepared. We certainly are. Things are getting loaded, things are getting stacked, and we look forward to starting that setup on site at the Brigadoon Holiday Park from next Monday. And we look forward to seeing each and every one of you, I guess somewhere through the Wednesday, in the lead into that mandatory briefing at the Loriton RSL. Hope you're all well. Any other questions, media at hobicat.com.au. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Other than that, bye for now.